Hey, let's make a quick camera application with Fuse. So ensure you've got Fuse downloaded and then run Fuse, create app. And then the name for our app is going to be camera. We can then CD into camera and open this up inside of your editor. The first thing I'm going to do is inside of our main view.ux, I'm going to create a JavaScript node. And inside of our JavaScript here, I'm going to import both the observable from fuse.js slash observable and camera from fuse.js slash camera. I'm then going to create a variable named picture and picture itself is going to be at the moment a default camera icon. But when we take a picture with the camera, it'll change to that camera image. Outside of that, the code is relatively simple. We'll need to make a function and I'm going to call this function take picture. And from within the function, we're going to access that camera object and we're going to say camera dot take picture. And from here, we can pass in the dimensions at the moment. I'm just going to say 640 by 480. And then we have the access to this then callback, which contains the image. And we can set the value of our picture equal to that image. If there are any errors, we can catch these. And for now, we'll simply say console.error and pass in any error. Aside from that, we should be able to export this to our app by saying module.exports and of course, passing in that picture and take picture function. So as far as the view, I want a panel and this panel will contain our image. It will initially have that placeholder image, but when we take a photo, it will be replaced with the photo that we take. So I'm going to align this to the top by saying alignment top. And then from within inside of the panel, we can add an image. We'll give this the UX name of image and the file path to the image can be equal to that picture. As we're using an image inside of our images folder, for example, this camera here as a placeholder, we'll have to tell Fuse about that. And we can do that by adding it to our includes from our camera.uno project. And this is essentially saying that we want to add anything inside of the images folder that ends in a .png to our bundle. So if nobody's taken a photo at this point, we should have that base photo. And now all we need is a button to hook up that functionality. So you might have another panel, but this time we might align it in the middle. And inside of that panel, we'd have a button. The text of our button would be equal to take picture. And the clicked event would be equal to that take picture function. So if we now click this button, we would get the take picture function. And all this does is say, hey, fuse camera, take a photo and give me the results of that. We are then putting that result into this picture variable, which we're subscribing to inside of our image here. Anytime this variable is updated, this image will be updated. And the final thing that we need to do is actually add this fuse.js slash camera to our project. And we can do this by adding it to the list of packages. So we can add fuse.camera to this package list. And when we run our project, it will download the fuse camera dependency and of course then run it on our device. So now that we've done all that, let's run fuse preview. And I'm going to add the target of Android. If I then click take picture, we get asked whether we want to give the camera permissions. I'm going to click allow and our camera appears on screen. If I take a photo and click OK, the results of our picture is then shown on the application. Obviously, we've got very, very simple implementation for your camera, but that's how you implement it. None of the less. So this about wraps up how you can easily implement the camera in your Fuse applications. If you're enjoying the Fuse series, let me know in the comments section below. I know quite a few people in the previous video have said that they want to see more Fuse. So let's add more Fuse to the channel. If you like this, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you very soon in the next video.